the picture of a squirrel just to do some canvas size resizing and make up some layer effects. So first of all I'm going to select the crop tool and I'm going to crop my little squirrel to actually less than 8 by 10. My final size is going to be 8 by 10 but I'm going to crop him to 9 by 7 inches so this will be a half an inch of border around each side giving me the extra inch that I'm missing on the 8 by 10. So I'll keep his tail in and I'll crop this guy down right now. So now we have our little squirrel crop to 9 by 7 inches smaller than 8 by 10. Before I go any further I'm going to duplicate this layer. And this will allow me to have a copy layer to work on. I'm going to keep the background layer there because I may do some effects on there. And you know what I could do also? Select all and then just copy to the clipboard. So I've got another backup copy in case I needed it for something like a bevel and emboss effect later on. Now I'm going to increase the canvas size by going to the image canvas size. And here I'm going to just type in 10 by 8 inches. And this will give me my final size. Now what color should I make that? I could make it white, gray, black, gray, or I could pick another color. And I'll pick a color out of the actual picture I'm working on, which is the fuzzy brown squirrel. And I'll just click on his fur and pick up a nice brown from his fur just to be complementary to the image. Say OK to that. It's going to give you a complementary color in a half inch border all the way around my 7 by 9 inch picture. The final size should be 8 by 10. Let's double check. It is. Now, I'm still in my background copy, so I have that area already selected. I can work on that. I'm going to add a stroke to this. I'm going to load up, hold down the command key, I'm going to load up my selection that I had selected on the outside edge of the squirrel, picture only, not the canvas, and I'm going to put a stroke in here. Edit, stroke. And what color should we use? Well, let's click on there and I'll pick a green out of the actual image. How about a nice dark green? I'll pick a dark green up here and I'll say OK to this. This is going to add a stroke on of 55 pixels. Why don't we change that to, I don't know, let's go to 45 pixels if you don't want it quite so uh, dark. Now, I'm going to make sure I'm on the inside of the selection as opposed to the outside. I'll get rounded edges if I'm on the outside. I'm going to say OK. There, I've got a, I'll hide the ants. They're still there, but I'll hide them. Now I have a nice selection up here. Let me bring it in. Nice, whoop, I went too far. Nice square corner there that's nice and crisp. Otherwise, it'll be quite a bit rounded if you go to the inside. Now let's put some layer effects on here. So I'm still on my background copy layer. Background copy layer, the second layer, not the background. And I'm going to click on the FX tab in the layers palette. And let's start with a drop shadow first of all. This is going to call up this dialog box and we'll see the drop shadow happening down here. So you can run your drop shadow up whatever size you'd like to add in there. Let's make it a little fuzzier. And I'm going to change the angle because I just like the angle coming from that side from left to right. So it looks like our green paper is now on a shadow box mount separated from our brown paper. If it's too much for you, just take it back a little bit. There we go. We can probably live with that. While I'm here, I'm going to click on Bevel and Boss in the contour. And I'm just going to step up the contour of the little green key line stroke I put around my image and say OK to that. Now I've got my key line set up, a stroke. I'll just bring this up and you can see the edge. I clicked on the bevel and emboss and it's putting a boss on the edge of that just to make it stand out a little bit better from the edge. There's a lot of tricks you can use if you go through some of those effects there. Our image is now separated from the brown mat. Looks like it's got a you know some relief to the green mat on top of the brown mat. And we have some dimension in our picture now with a little bit of edge treatment around the edge. You could flatten these layers and put them onto one layer or save your file as a PSD and keep it as an intact layer file you can change later.